Welcome everyone. We are going to play Inscription. I have a deck builder survival spooky game. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Indeed. Okay. Booting up. Inscription. I clicked, I didn't press any buttons, but let us continue since we can't start a new game. Uh, this is a fresh install, so I didn't know we were already playing. Oh, the slow aisle. Oh, that's spooky. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Okay. Next to mouse and keyboard. Stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Ooh, max is tooth out. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote did two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Well, you can draw a squirrel. How dull. Well, I need to summon something big. The wolf demands two sacrifices. Huh? Hey, stop. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. His suffering was real, but you will see it again. Ooh, didn't mean to hurt him. Oh, he's snapping. The coyote, however, I did intend. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of the squirrel. Well, I'm guessing there's not going to... Yeah, I probably won't be able to play what I draw from the deck of cards. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Pass. Alright, fine. Then I'll see what a squirrel in hand or a card from the bush. <laughs> oh, he's another two sacrifice. Yeah, we're not doing that. Ooh, over damage. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two Denzians of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. The Undying sounds really good. Sacrifice doesn't die, but death touch. Another creature joins your caravan. I got all just two bloods, so I gotta do a lot of sacrificing. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Like this backpack. You come across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in the bottle break in case of emergency and have a second another useful implement I'll allow you to tip the scales with it well that looks like blood on the tip of that three is as much as you can carry All right. battle turn you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain okay. got some walls you sacrificed me while I was asleep 
It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Cool. Your future sight. Wolf Cub. Grows into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. Let's kind of like get rid of him early. Did I want to do that? Yes. Kind of want to get that stump out of the way. Here we go. Find the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Put you there. Yeah, river snapper. All right. Ooh, big wolf. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your river snapper. Yeah, well... How do you like? Um, I'll hold on to this for now. Then we can take care of their wolf next turn. Perfect. There we go. Um, I guess we'll take our wolf. One, two, we got five damage on the board, that's good. But we could do more. Yes, knock all his teeth out. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Hmm. The young wolf cub it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The Meek Sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Yeah, we'll go flying. I have a feeling the Wolf Cup probably won't last too long. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Hmm. Okay. I get none. What can make me? An undying stoat for sacrifice. Hmm. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. No. But a flying stoat. That might be more useful. What an honor. What an honor. I, I'm gonna forget these voices so fast. The ghastly spectacle. The soul of the sparrow now lives in stoat. Hello, what are you? Oh. Behold my totem, then scraps my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Well, at least I have a flying stoot. He's completely insane. You see that, right? Don't care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Alright, what do we got here? We've got a flying coyote and a flying bat. How would you like? Just an average, ordinary cat. I kind of want to keep the cat, though. You, sir, be quite back on the board. Back on the board. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Yes, ouch, ouch, ouch. But... With the power of cat squirrel and flying stoats, we've got this under control. Wait. Oh, flying can't stop other flying. That's horrible. Never, you're not gonna do me any good. Hmm. 
And a wolf cub. Flying wolf cub. Okay. Well, at least my wolf's gonna get us oh, back to neutral. Alright. Ooh. This is... This is not good. That helped a little. I think there's gonna be another wolf in here. That's right. Alright. Okay, so I got all my attackers out. Oh, good. Oh! One damage away from winning. Oh. Got my own tooth. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Yeah, well, have at thee. Victory! Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Would you? Alright, let's see. The ornery porcupine sharp quills await those who dare attack it. A proud wolf, a vicious contender, a monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficiency. Ooh, we already have wolf, porcupine, one blood porcupine, or three blood grizzly. Ooh, that's big damage. Kind of want big damage. Add an ability from someone to another. Well, I don't really have. Only my stoat has an ability, or my cat. So I don't think that's going to help me too much. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Mm. I will s yeah, Stoat, yeah, you're suspicious. But, if this cat's gonna be on the field all the time, I want him to be able to attack. The fire warmed the poor cat, enhancing his power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the cat away from the fire and left. Yeah, don't be eating my cat. I need him. <laughs> there's a way. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Oh, he can hear the stove. Hmm. Stoat's nervous. Alright, what do we got? Ugh. Grizzly... Okay, so the sparrow... Don't have to worry. That grizzly I have to worry about. I know. Oh, I want to see. Well, like, their grizzly... His grizzly is going to take care of anything I've got, so... The spot... Or... I, 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 okay, yes, that was a terrible move on my part. I can't sacrifice the furs. I can't handle two bears at once. Your lucky sacrifices, grand fur can't be sacrificed. Well, how about take the awesome power of my squirrel? That can't attack. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. 
Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, he's Waz. Oh, there we go. Waz. Nothing here? Alright. Tools locked on the wall. Can't see very well. Lock painting. Oh, there was a hand on that safe. We see. I can't see what it was. Oh, so something's in here with us. All those survivors. Can't see in there. Ooh, candle. Bring it here. Oh. I want to explore. Since this is probably a rare. Ooh. You're way up too close. Wolf. Hmm. That looks like a hand, a claw thing. Huh. Okay. Not familiar with that topography. Oh! Couldn't take that candle with us. Yeah. Oh, you want it there? Now sit back down. Okay. Ooh. Turn sharp. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh, good. I love nothing more than to be told I'm going to be sacrificed by some unknown person. The stalwart snapper. A near impenetrable defense. A reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. And the porcupine. That's right. So spike damage. Or a debuff. Using card brain sigil is one power. That might be useful. Or oh, that's a power of not sacrifice. I don't know. Maybe so that skunk's not going to be as useful. Yeah. Delay the inevitable. A group of starving survivors. To a damper room. Yep. For creature. Oh, increase its health. One of the survivors said nothing at all. Could not stop looking at this. No. Health by two. Oh. No way. Get my cat to survive an extra turn, maybe. Yes. Now the cat was enhanced by the warmth. We need the cat to survive. One of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket. Yes. Do not eat my cat. I need that cat to live. Oh. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Twas the Prospector. He's doing the Prospector again? Easy boss, the mule's key. Good to know. Oh, yeah. You cannot draw a card on your first turn. Oh. So the pack mule's the key. Alright. Okay, there's Scott. Just out. So, the stoat won't attack him, though, the stoat will fly over. Ugh, not great. Pocket squirrel. Get my wolf. Field. Oh, not great. Not great. All right, Stoat. Show me what you got. Okay. So that's what he has. Dang, nabbit, my mule! Free cards, that's what he had. Ow. What do I have? A squirrel, sparrow, wolf, sparrow. Ah, grizzly. 
so it's not going to last another turn. up there. Another coyote. Oh, that's going to wipe the board out. But I can get another Oh no. no. That's that. That's not good. That's the opposite of good. Every possible scenario that is the opposite of good. Okay, yep, that, we're, we're done. We're, nope, can't do it. Oh, I didn't realize I was... I didn't realize I had that much um, safe space. Do four damage, that's not gonna be enough. Just stopping him. Oh, it's not going to do me any good. Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Okay, so it's just a moving defender. And I am in trouble. Yep, all I can do is play squirrels. This is not good. my squirrels. Oh, waste. I don't know if I'm going to have enough squirrels to get through this. Oh. Nope, that's my last squirrel. I'm done for. Go. I can't. The cat doesn't do me any good because all this. That's more. Oh, all right, let's just go. Racking up the teeth. The battle had taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to sit in. Whoa. Starvation. Impulsive. If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. Oh, it's you just. Oh. Um. Yeah, I lost. I lost pretty badly. More gold for me. That stoat lied to me. He said he'd be easy to defeat. That was not the case. Oh, good. He knocked me unconscious, sort of. And he's dragging me into a cell. God. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain on the, mo the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your New York deck. Put these to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, I want the cheaper card. Cost of two blood from the River Snapper. Uh, the power and health. Well, they're the same power and health. And ability.
Though, actually... That's not a bad to have them... ...sit with many lives. Because then I can keep sacrificing myself. So, so are all these animals, they died and their souls are trapped in these cards? There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You don't need to smile. I'm going to, though. Cheese. Flash is blinding. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. Sleepy stoat. Oh. Get those back. What do you have? Rattler. Ooh. Three one. Okay. So we got a squirrel. And we're going to... From the death of your creature, you gained a bone. Oh, maybe I was supposed to... You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Maybe I was supposed to put this dope there. Ouch. Okay. All right, Mr. Stoat, you're going. Was I sleeping again? Yes. And the possum is coming out to play. Should have had him go after the snake. Oh, I can see my hand. My hand holds nothing. Wow. All right. Bullfrog. Oh boy. Oh, I did this all backwards and wrong. Oh, thankfully I didn't have to worry. <laughs> Alright, I gotta start thinking about this more strategically. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Clock. Oh, but the oh the hands back. Squirrel and beehive. I don't have a beehive though, or do I? Oh, that's a fancy figurine. Hmm, got a pattern to that. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. Another candle. One, two, three, four. No. Oh. oh wait. And does that look like a little person, like a face right there? Maybe not. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh, there's a book. Oh, of all the um, abilities. Oops. Okay. Let us continue. Ooh, new cards. The meager coyote, but what did you expect from only four for only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach it returns to your hand after dying. That seems useful. Especially of how well I've been playing. You know, you're free to get up again. Keep your blood flowing. Cool. I can change my perspective. Oh, to see what's going on. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. <laughs> the bleeding, bleeding. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. I want the goat. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. Okay. So the black goat can be sacrificed for more blood. What do you got here? Porcupine, coyote. And my game crashed.
Okay. All right, are we? We're back at it. All right, it didn't crash; it just went down. I think something happened with OBS. I don't know what happened, but it did. Oh no, that was just a sign for recording. Anyway, never mind. Moving on. You have a porcupine and a coyote. Ooh, and that's a spider. Can't click on you. I think it's telling me that I've been idling too long. Okay. Toad. We're gonna. Alright, anything's gonna kill you. Stop the coyote. smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing passcode in the rule book. Oh. Awesome, 1-1. One, one. Alright. Awesome. You're going there. Stoat. Oh, you're not strong enough to fight him, though. Total misplay. I don't think so. Because we're doing two to his one. There we go. wanted yes I know I'm, I'm I'm going I'm going we're just gonna go this back and forth I'll win eventually I see the ways this is going I concede you may accept my surrender or you may finish this match the slow way oh uh no because I want to destroy you No giving up. I didn't get any over damage, but... If you desire it, you may stand now. It will allow me time to plan. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Alright. I think that's really telling me to look into the book of the code. Oh! 273 on a safe wheel. Right, we. Oh. Oh, this. Nope, still squirm behind. Two. Seven. Three. Oh. Hello? Stink bug! Uh. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure I would ever escape that iron crit. Is but. Is the stoat around? That stunted wolf. This madness must end. Put that away. Uh, that's probably the worst voice I could have given to the stink bug. Wait, a key. Oh. Okay, so I have to do... Five damage in a turn. One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Ooh! I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Skink. What's he have? Oh. I guess we'll find out later. How about this puzzle? Okay, so I gotta deal five damage. Three. Four. 
Oh, that can't move. One, two. There we go. Oh, I guess not attack. Ooh. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Oh, what curry? Ooh, more puzzles. Nice. Something getting closer. There we go. And a little trial and error, but cage will carry us. Oh, getting lots of new cards. Oh. That did worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? He just spiked, but there's no one in front of him. Tax. Oh, but that tail guy. So actually, uh, maybe I want. No. Oh no! Definitely need him up there. I don't know why I'd want to have the spike. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand his power. It's a squirrel head. Okay. Well, we got a lot of stuff to help us on our adventure, I guess. Still don't have a beehive. Mm, don't know what to do with this clock. All right. Bring it on. Wolf. Oh. Me. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Then I can do what's on that picture. Item. I'm full on items. Power up or ability transfer. Do a power up. The warm light of the campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it damp and green. Form a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. Oh, right. <laughs> Pick something else. You don't wanna be super strong. Oh. You do. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay. So just he just keeps moving to the right until he can't move anymore. Ant queen, ant spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Only when played. Don't want to be a super stout. Oh, 
ants. No, there's one there. Ant is great. Well, maybe worker ants, because if I get a bunch of worker ants... Survivor's right about the flames. It enhanced the creature's health. But you feel the survivor's drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your worker ant. Hmm. I really don't have a strategy with my cards yet, because I just got a bunch of new ones. Blind canines. <laughs> you again. Indeed. Hmm. Friend free. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We, uh, another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay, so. Their souls have been trapped into these cons. Wolf pop. Not face the might of my stoat? Fine. Oh, it's a flying wolf. Whoops. What is that? Alpha? Creature is Jason's to this card brand. This will gain one power. Ooh. Okay. Do. I can't sacrifice. Oh. Oh no. I do Why all these bones? I don't need bones. I don't have bones to give. And they're flying, so they won't hit me anyway. I I am gonna lose this. Wow. Do I at least no wrong button? I wanna I don't care. Ant Queen. Yay. I wanna keep you alive. <laughs> Power numbers. The Ant's Creed. Oh, I got two lives now. Awesome or stink bug. Do I wait for the cock no cockroach is expensive? Oh, I I played that backwards. Played the possum first. I'll work on this. I'll get a little bit better. Oh, well, this worked. Oh, so it's just not worker ants in general. Alright, well, goodbye, possum. Get these ants rolling. Ooh, lots of overflow. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. Be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in the spoils. Okay. So they can be a currency if we need it. Speaking of the trapper, that looks like a trap. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Well, what would the trapper sound like? Here, here to look at my pelts. Take a pelt free of charge. I have four. I guess I will take the wolf pelt. See the quality? You're leaving already? Please consider my pelts. I, I, I don't. You'll need more teeth for that one. I don't have... Or, thanks for my, your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useful in a fight. He mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay, so you can either use them or trade them later. Let's get a... We gotta power up some cards here. Yes, sacrifice the choice. The choice is yours. Here. I'll go. Aged wolf. Well, I 
need to play him. Oh! Yes, the cockroach. Hello. Yeah, stink bug, I'm not... Cockroach. Yes. It's me. Only there was something that was like one bone. Alright, well, let's do the stoat. Give you a power. Yeah? Alright. Yes. Undyne stoat. Alright. What are we have? what are we up against here? We are up against flying sparrows. Great. I'm done. Need bones. Really? What would happen if I do lose? Does it just keep going? Yes, knock out all my teeth. How disappointing. Oh, so I just lose and keep going. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Got here. Ooh, the Rat King. Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. That could be useful. Yes. Oh, wolf belts too. Exquisite. Ooh. Okay. We got a cat that can power up. Flying rat. Black goat. Part of me wants the runner. The card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay. I think what I want is I want that goat. Because I want that extra blood. These pelts are marks. Most excellent. My thanks. Okay. Power up. Ooh, ability transfer. Let's see what we got, because we got a lot of cards. The choice. The choice is yours. Okay. Ooh, four bones. Is there something? Hello. Something I can get. Cheaper. Oh, mm. I have a feeling that once I start playing ants, I want to keep playing ants. How about? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not the ability I want to give. Ant queen has played an ant has created. No, I don't want that. 
Sigil struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. Still think a rat king would be better. That only happens when he dies, so I don't want something that's gonna live. I want something that's gonna get played and then go. Like the bullfrog. Alright. Alright. Revenge. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector. Yee haw! Squirrel. Acme and coyote. Alright. By the beehive. Let's go. Think it would be that easy? There's gold in them cards. Yes. Gold. I've struck gold. All right. So what have we got going on here? So I got an adder, alpha, elk fawn. Oh. Oh, uh, he grows into an elk, then a squirrel. Okay. So, I probably want another squirrel. You're out of space, there's no room for that. No room for that card. Okay. Get him! It's okay. So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Okay. Bulldog with Bloodhound. Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. He has three. He has one. Squirrel here. Uh, squirrel there. And then we'll play the adder. Here. And the stink bug. There. Good play. Yeah, that's a lot of bones. A serpent. A serpent, perhaps more deadly than that. Oh. Yeehaw, prospector. Alright. Worker ant. You don't do me any good right now. I need to get rid of this gold. Unless if what happens if I win with the gold. <laughs> Cross back your boss again. Oh yeah. I don't have Oh, 
Oh well. Still point change. There we go. We still win. Yeah, we'll do this. We're gonna... Oh. Right. Sure why I... Oh. Nope. Did that wrong. Nowhere to put... Yep. I was gonna stack by the stink bug to get that alpha wolf out there, but that's not how it's gonna go. But who cares? We won. Woohoo! Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Miner's Bane. You are the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Ooh. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. You're. You're a Yuli. You're a Yuli. The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well stocked pack. The unaspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Hmm. That ability would be when a print producer is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. That would be useful. All right. Well, everyone, uh, with the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Oh, haven't finished the chapter. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the human air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip, slip, slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. All right. So, everyone, uh, thank you for joining me. We will pick this up in another episode into the wetlands.